Hello, nature lovers, and welcome to another exciting episode of Environmental Systems and Societies. Today, we're going to talk about equilibrium, which sort of implies balance. Well, what is equilibrium? It really is the tendency of a system to return to an original state following some sort of disturbance. I know that's a little technical, but it's basically saying that it's going to return to where it started. Now, there's two types of equilibrium, steady state and static. With steady state equilibrium, the inputs and the outputs of the system might fluctuate a little bit, but the whole system maintains a balance. Okay, So the whole system stays constant, but there's little changes in and out. So what's a good example? Well, let's take this pail of water here, the sink. The water going in equals the water going out. There's inputs and outputs, and they're kind of constantly shifting, but the amount in the sink stays the same. And we see this in our bathtub, right? At least I do. I fall asleep, you know. But here's this uh, drain, and the water comes in, and it also goes out to the drain. But what's in the tub, once it reaches this point on the drain, stays the same. It's constant. That's steady state. Our bodies do this. Most open systems do this. So when this girl sweats, it's to regulate her body temperature. It's keep her body temperature constant, 98.6. When she exercises, she gets hot. It, you know, she sweats to keep it maintained. When she's cold, like in this picture, it she shivers so that it warms her up and keeps her the same. The stock market's like this. Money comes in, money goes out, things are bought and sold, but the market stays the same. Ant populations, really almost all populations of organisms, is steady state. Things are born, things die, but overall the population count stays the same unless something major happens. A forest is a great example of this, right? We go to a forest that looks the same, but in fact, some of the trees are dying and uh, we just may not notice them. And some of the trees are being born, new saplings are being born, but we really just see this forest that's not changing over time. The truth is there's dynamic inputs and outputs. Now in contrast, we have static equilibrium. There's no change over time and the forces are in balance, okay? So if nothing, comes along weird, this system's not going to change. It's in perfect equilibrium. So this stack of books will stay just like this for 10,000 years unless some outside force knocks it over, a big wind or a kid bumps into it. It will always be like this unless something changes it. But the weird thing is this, when somebody does knock it over, then it goes to a new equilibrium. It doesn't get knocked around and then bounce back to that original state. Now it's in a new state, and it'll stay in that state for 10,000 years unless there's a new equilibrium, or a, I'm sorry, unless there's an outside force that causes it to go to a new equilibrium. So state, steady state, it goes back to the original equilibrium. Static equilibrium, it doesn't. It goes to a new one, okay? So steady state equilibrium tends to return to that same equilibrium after disturbance, and we call that a stable equilibrium. It's the same equilibrium. It returns to it, so it's stable. In contrast... A, an unstable equilibrium is really a, what static equilibrium is. When something disrupts it, it finds a new equilibrium. And since it's a new equilibrium, that equilibrium is not stable, and so we call it unstable equilibrium. Make sense? Okay, I hope so. So in this video, what you should understand by this point is what equilibrium is, which is sort of the tendency to return or not return to uh, its original state after a disruption. Steady state equilibrium, which is specifically uh, the tendency of a system to maintain its uh, constant equilibrium, even though the inputs and the outputs may fluctuate, they end up balancing each other out. Static equilibrium, which is uh, the tendency of a system to stay exactly the same and constant because everything's equal until it shifts from an outside force and then a new equilibrium is reached. Stable equilibrium, which is really just uh, renaming steady state and then stat, uh, unstable which is the shift to a new equilibrium. So this is my little short video on equilibrium. I hope it made good sense to you. If it didn't please come talk to me. Otherwise I hope you have a great day and peace out homies.